What's going on guys, it's Hi, and I've been using this little Porter Cable Pancake Air Compressor since I think middle school. It's still going, but at 6 gallons, the size is a bit limiting. I think it actually takes a couple of refills just to try and pump up 4 tires. Anyway, after moving into a new garage, I knew that I wanted something larger. After some research, I've decided to purchase the Cobalt Quiet Tech 26 gallon air compressor. Now, I personally am no air compressor expert. I think this is only the third compressor that I've actually owned, so I don't have a lot of knowledge on the field. So for this video, I kind of just wanted to share with you why I personally decided to go with this particular compressor. First off, if something is advertised with giant words saying quiet tech across the body, you know it's going to be quiet, right? Well, it is, relatively. Cobalt advertises that this compressor is up to 80% quieter. Quieter than what? I don't know, but compared to my little pancake, it is quite a bit quieter. I don't have any scientific way of measuring sound, so for my own personal testing, I decided to download a decibel meter app for the iPhone, and these are the results that I got, so listen for yourself. For this experiment, I had the iPhone about 6 feet away from the compressors, and as you can see and hopefully hear, the Cobalt sits quite a bit lower in terms of decibel than the Porter cable. You can do your own research about how the decibel ratings work and what's safe, what's not safe, or at least what should be used with ear protection, but I do want to point out that I doubt the iPhone app is super accurate, but it does provide some frame of reference in terms of my own personal experience and hopefully for you. But from my personal experience, the Cobalt is absolutely, yes, it is quieter than my Porter cable, and it is no doubt the quietest air compressor that I've ever heard. That being said, it's still pretty far away from silent. I really don't know what to compare it to. I would say that it's quiet enough for me to be standing about arm's reach away and still hold a conversation with barely raising my voice, like barely above this tone of voice. If I did this with the Porter cable, I would definitely have to raise my voice, practically yelling, not at the top of my lungs, but it's getting pretty loud. So the Cobalt, yes, it's quiet, but not something that you don't know is there. In terms of design, everything on the Cobalt is functional and operation is just about the same as every other air compressor. There are two gauges, one for the tank and the other to show the regulated output air pressure, and of course, a regulator two output quick connect couplers that work with industrial size fittings, the on and off switch, and the safety pressure release valve are on the right side of the compressor. Again, all of this is pretty straightforward. The only thing that I find annoying about this compressor is the water release port that's located about dead center on the bottom of the tank. This is actually a good and a bad thing. Good because all the water in the tank naturally moves down towards this outlet because it sits, again, like at the bottom of a curve, so everything just naturally flows down there. This is a bad thing because it's just a little bit more inconvenient to access. I'm likely just going to take that stock fitting, that stock valve off, and replace it with some sort of hose so I can just drain the tank without constantly rolling it outside. At this point, I've only had the Cobalt air compressor for a few days and have only used it to air up some tires, so I don't have too much to say about it in terms of use. I'll come back with a more in-depth review at a later time, so subscribe for that. And that's going to be it for now. So far, so good. The Cobalt Quiet Tech air compressor is quieter than what I've previously used and holds significantly more air. No real complaints yet and hopefully things stay that way because I'm planning to do a lot of projects that involve this compressor and hopefully you'll be around for that. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a member of this channel or becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.